guys, I'm Briar Pingel. Uh, I work in sales over at Team Winnebago Land. Um, I've been in the power sports industry ever since I could remember. Um, my grandparents owned a cabin up in Hiles, which is just north of Crandon. So every time we pass the racetrack, my, uh, my dreams of owning a Razor side-by-side um, kind of grew from there. Today I'm gonna show you my build, um, give you some details on the parts that I put on them, why I put them on, and uh, yeah, let's get started. To start off, I have the Polaris full coverage front bumper. Um, the reason I do that, or I want that on here, is I need to protect my investment. Um, you never know what's gonna happen on the trails. Uh, the plastic pieces on these machines are really expensive to replace, so it's a small investment to prevent more expensive repairs in the future. And then uh, I got my Polaris full glass vented windshield. Um, this vent opens to get some more airflow on those hot days. I just put my full cab enclosure on uh, for the winter. I don't normally run it in the summer because it's, it's usually too hot. So I switch over in spring and fall uh, my setups. Uh, I got my Rigid Industries lights here. Um, the two in the middle are driving lights. The two on the outside are actually fog lights. And then I have the removable amber covers. The amber really helps with cutting through the dust um, with a bright white light. The dust will actually reflect back into you and it, it actually makes it harder to see. Uh, I have the two outside ones pointed kind of out. It just widens my um, overall beam pattern. I like to have these lights down low because um, it's going to illuminate the trail better down below. Sometimes when you have the light bar up top in dusty conditions, um, it, it also creates another um, blinding effect. Rock blocks, fender flares. The biggest thing with these is they really help protect either snow, water, mud um, from getting all over you. Some, and it, it makes cleaning up a lot easier at the end of the day. I upgraded to 35 inch Pro Armor Crawler tires uh, with the 15 inch MSA beadlock wheels. Uh, the biggest benefit about the, these taller tires is gonna be your ride quality um, and also gives you some added ground clearance. Over here, I got my Super ATV forward A arms. I need to run those in order to fit the 35s. If I didn't have those, my 35s would definitely rub. Um, it also helps lengthen the machine a little bit. Another um, thing that will help with the overall ride quality. And then I have shock therapy springs on here as well. It's a true dual rate setup. Uh, the reason I swapped over to those is Polaris does a really good job designing these machines from the factory. But once you add, you know, hundreds of pounds of weight and accessories and then add, say, four adults, um, the springs really aren't, aren't set up for that. So that's why I upgraded those. Up top here, I got my Heretic Studios 40-inch uh, light bar. The reason I chose this one, it was one of the brightest on the market. Uh, they have a lifetime warranty. And then I also wanted uh, something that was more streamlined, not didn't stand out so much, but it really lights up the trails at night. You know, if you're running the grade at night or uh, you need to see the trail ahead of you. So that's why I chose that. And then this is the Polaris uh, enclosure system. Very nice to have in the winter. Um, we put countless of hours of miles and during the winter. And then I also have my heater in there. So it keeps the heat in, keeps you out of the elements, keeps you dry. Definitely a must have. Uh, next up we have my Lone Star Racing trailing arm guards. Uh, biggest use for these is it's preventing the rocks and stones, debris from getting kicked up. The stones will chip out your trailing arms. Eventually they rust, you'll have to replace them. There's a lot of times where you'll get debris in the brakes, which will wear them out faster. Uh, other times you can get rocks that kick up uh, and get lodged in the wheels. 
So this flap um, is going to help prevent that, that type of stuff. Essentially, it's the Aftermarket Assassins Stage 3 Lock and Load Kit. Um, they're gonna, they, with that kit, it, they replace all of your intake tubes. This is a 2020 Razor. On the 2020s, they used a lot of rubber tubing. Um, and under boost, it, they had issues collapsing and, and choking off the engine. Um, you also get their exhaust. It's a really nice trail exhaust, not super loud. Um, and it has a really nice tone to it. And then your, the blow-off valve and um, clutch upgrades. I have my Rigid Industries Chase Bar here. That's really important when you're riding in a group or even by yourself in dusty conditions. These taillights do a good job, but that light bar is super bright and it helps people behind you see where you are, prevents getting rear-ended and things like that. I have a Mod Quad spare tire carrier. You always want to carry a spare. You never know when you're going to get a flat that you can't repair on the trail. So you can always swap out your tire if that happens. Um, Player's rear bumper, again, protecting the investment. These plastic pieces are worth or cost way more than just this bumper. Would help you if you ever get rear-ended or you back into a tree or who knows what could happen. Also with that aftermarket assassins lock and load kit, you're going to get uh, the programmer that you can you can choose options you know stage one through six tunes you can change it on the um without having to you know take it home to the, your shop you can monitor all the parameters of your machine see how it's running you can data log with it so you can upload it onto your computer and see how your machine's performing uh, up here i got my rugged radios pumper kit or pumper system Biggest thing for that is it keeps my head cool and keeps my my face clean. Uh, pumps nice uh, cool air into my helmet. Uh, in the summer, I, I take my full windshield off. So when you're following someone, chances are pretty good. You, you got a lot of dust in your face with their full face helmet and the, the pumper. It, it keeps your face clean and your head cool. Um, and then down here, I have my rugged radios the intercom kit, and then my pumper control. The radio is super helpful when we communicate in our group rides. Uh, we can talk to anyone that has the rugged radios. The intercom kit, it helps. You, can, you get to talk to anyone else in your car. They have two-person, four-person setups. And then uh, the pumper air control, you can uh, adjust the speed of the fan for the pumper system. That's all I got guys. Thank you for joining us. You can find a lot of these accessories on warhead.com. Um, hope to see you on the trail.